everybody and welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I am Bunky and I am bringing you an unboxing and I believe I know what this is but uh, you know how it is when you order things and you totally forget you ordered it and then you think you know what's in the mail and it's not. Anyway, um, that's what happened to us on the one video where uh, Matthew was opening a box because I thought I knew exactly what it was and I needed it right away and when he opened it I was shocked because it was not at all what I thought it was going to be. It was an item I ordered but it wasn't the item I needed immediately. Anyway I think I know what this is and uh, I thought I'd bring you along and do the unboxing. I hope everyone out there is well and happy and healthy and having fun in life and uh, thank you for coming along and watching this video with me. So let's get started. Oh look, it's a box of eggs. I hope not. <clears throat> so you can probably see what this is probably going to be. look like in very good condition. No rust, not bent. Well, that's a good start. As some of you are guessing, yes, it is a stand mixer, vintage. I saw this on eBay multiple times and I kept looking at it, looking at it, liking it, wanting it. I really don't need it, but there's something about these old mixers that just grabs my heart. Um, so, I had not seen one like this. It would have been nice if the seller would have cleaned it up. Very sticky. Yeah. You could tell it's been used. It's very sticky. Very well built though. This is a Sunbeam mix master portable so not seeing any chips or dents anything at this point i'm looking it over um, so basically this can be a hand mixer or a stand mixer i like that huh so let's look at the bowls and <clears throat> and see how these are because normally it's usually the wrong bowls or the wrong beaters or the bowls are chipped and broken. You, know, you never know. And from what the eBay seller said, that everything was here and in great condition. Um, I must say it took a long time to get this thing shipped. I thought most people that sold on eBay did all the video or pictures and posted it and why while it was up and being bid on or looked at this had already been packed up and ready to go so that when someone purchased the item or won the item they would just ship it that's not what happened in this case um i made an offer she accepted it i waited a week week and a half and it still hadn't shipped yet so i sent a uh, message 
And she said that she hadn't packed it and shipped it yet because of, uh, well, something about no packaging bubble and bubble wrap and that kind of stuff. And she has to get to Walmart. She lives in a small town and she hasn't done it yet. Just a little thing out there. Um, and most people know that, that when you put something up for bid, get all the information off the item, get all the pictures, videos, what do you need to do, pack it really well and get it ready so that when someone wins it, pop on their address or whatever you need to do and pop it in the mail the next day or drop it off at the post office. But uh, anyway, most of all of you out there know that, so I'm, I'm just saying it. Anyway, so these are your typical white light milk glass. I'm not feeling any chips. Now this one is not marked, but most of your Sunbeam has that uh, rippled textured bottom and this has that. This one has the texture, but this is marked, sunbeam, glass bake. Um, I don't know if that's broken or not, or is that scratched? Or is that dirt? have to take a quick, I don't see it on the inside, so it can't be scratched. Anyways, I'm not feeling any chips on the edges. It has the nice pour spout, if you can see that, the pouring spout. And it's got the little handle on each side to hold it. Um, let's see if they fit. Well, yeah, let's see if they fit. So you got the small one. And that is not the correct bowl at all. Now this does fit. This is the incorrect bowl. So the wrong bowl. Anyway, this does fit. Looks like this is the incorrect bowl as well. <coughs> well, I had it in the wrong spot, so here we go. Anyway, there we go. So here's the cord. Let's take a look at it. not seeing or feeling anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Doesn't seem to fit very tightly. It's in the off position. Let's hope this thing doesn't blow up on us, huh? But at all, doesn't it? That sounds horrible. And it's buzzing. that does not sound very healthy at all. So we have the wrong bowl. And that motor sounds horrible. Now I'm going to double check. 
I'm going to double check the listing, but I could have swore she said in great condition, runs well. But uh, we are going to find out. What happened? is not sounding healthy at all. Wow, it's kind of disappointing because it could be a great mixer. So I need to make a decision whether I want to return this or, or not. Uh, hair in my eyes. Anyway, um, I don't know. In the description down below or the comment section down below, let me know. what your thoughts are. That does not sound very healthy at all. Um, I need to make a decision whether I'm gonna keep it or send it back. I love it for the vintage. I love the idea that you can disconnect and use it like a regular hand mixer. I like it you know, for a couple of reasons, but that does not sound healthy at all. So anyway, disappointed, <laughs> just so disappointed. Um, I am going to send her a message and let her know that I did receive it. Um, however, the small bowl is not the original bowl and the motor in this sounds pretty rough. Um, I don't know if I want to open it up and give it a look or not. I'm not going to touch it until I hear back from the seller. Uh, she might want it back. She might give me partial. She might say whatever. Um, so until I finalize what her thoughts and prayers are on this, um, I'm not going to touch it. So anyways, thank you so much for coming along and watching this video. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm enjoying putting these videos together. I'm learning and watching and excited for each and every one that we watch and view and make together. So here you are with a um, portable stand sunbeam mix master vintage and uh, if you have any questions comments concerns whatever's on your mind for the day feel free and putting it in the uh the box down below and i'll be happy to answer all of them that i possibly can and as always subscribe that makes me happy maybe give it a thumbs up if you like these videos and ring that bell and you know what i'm going to say so that each and every time I make a video, you'll be notified. So all of you out there, thank you again for coming along. I'll be talking to you soon on the next video. Have a great day.